Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehu Sheikh and today I am going to start a new video tutorial series on developing a CRUD application using PHP, jQuery and Ajax. Okay, so now this is our application, this is the complete application uh, which we are going to develop in this tutorial series and here you can see there is a table and in the table you will see some list of records with username, email, gender and the user image ok and there are a few operations like view if I want to view that record then I just need to click on this I can view this record ok uh, with the username, username, uh, email, gender and the profile picture ok so, so now if I want to delete any record then I just need to click on this delete button then immediately that record will get deleted okay so all these operations i'm doing with the help of ajax okay which allows me to perform the operations without loading the page okay so now uh, in this video we will see how we can add data or insert data inside the mysql database using ajax without refreshing the page okay in this video we will also see how we can view the details of any specific user and we also see how we can delete any specific record okay and uh, we are we have connected this application to the database inside the database we are storing the details of these records okay so let me just go to the table okay so this not this one okay i have a database as ajax grid okay and inside the database i have records okay so these are the records uh, which you can see here in this table okay so now uh, if i want to add any user then i will just click okay then i will just add the same user which i have deleted earlier jacob okay name and i will select this okay okay now i will click on upload file and immediately when I click on upload file you will see the data gets retrieved from the database along with the image and it started displaying in this table okay and when I click on not this one okay yeah Ajax crud yeah this one see it is okay so now you will see another record will get added inside the table okay uh, so this is the application we are going to create in this video tutorial series okay so uh, so here we will see how we can store the data inside the table without reloading the page we will also see how we can view some details uh, we can view the details of specific user okay and we will see how we can edit information of any user and we will see how we can delete the record using jquery ajax and php okay so the, this is the complete overview of our application which we are going to uh, learn in this video okay so now let us go to our editor and start developing this application okay so now yeah that one thing i just also want to see this is the folder okay so this is the ajax grid folder okay this is our project and inside the uploads we have these many user files or profile pictures okay so this is the one which i had added just few seconds back okay now just remove it okay okay so now let's go to our editor okay so now here i have created a folder with the name as jquery ajax crud okay and in that i have created three folders one is assets folder second one is database folder and the third one is uploads folder to store the data okay so now inside the assets folder i have stored css for awesome and js files okay inside the css folder i have bootstrap.css because i'm using bootstrap framework here for designing this application and i'm 
using bootstrapper js and jquery as well okay so i will put the link in the description from where you can easily download these files and i'm also using pong awesome okay and i have created a database configuration file inside which i have written the code which allows me to connect with my sql database okay so this is the complete code for connecting or establishing the connection with the mysql database so our database name is jquery ajax Kernel. okay so let me just go to the database okay so here i have created a database as jquery ajax Kernel. inside that i have created a table okay so in this table i have created four fields okay one is username second one is email third one is gender and the last one is user file okay so here inside this table i have already added three records okay so now we will see how we can write the code for developing this functionality of adding these records inside the mysql table using jquery and ajax okay now let me just come to the editor okay so now this is my index.php okay so i have a head tag Okay, inside the head tag, I have linked the bootstrap.css file and my JS files, and then I have I have used a navigation menu. Okay, and then with the title as Cloud application using PHP, jQuery, and Ajax, and then I have created a container. Inside the container, I have created a button. Okay, with a class btn btn primary okay so this button let me just close come from here okay so this is the button okay add user so whenever i click on this add user button a model is started pop up okay so with this model i am storing the information of username email gender and user file okay so this you can easily achieve okay so you will get the markup you will get the complete code html code for designing this add user functionality uh, with this model feature okay here in this get bootstrap.com okay so you need to follow this url and inside this page you will see the code okay exactly same code okay so now let us when i click on this launch demo model the same kind of window gets popped up okay so to design this feature you have complete code here okay so that i have just copied this okay you just need to copy this and then you need to put it here okay see uh, here it has okay so it has data target as example model and here i have changed it to add post model okay and and everything else is same okay so now here there is a button and i have changed it to a link okay so now i have the class btn btn primary okay and then data toggle as model and then you need to set an id here and i have set an id as add post model and the same id you need to give to your model here okay so as you can see here same id i have given it to a model and this model also you just need to copy from here okay you just need to completely copy this entire code okay and then you need to put this inside your form okay so once you created an add user link then here i have created a form to this form i have set some attributes like id action and encryption type okay so i have given it as id as upload user action as add.php and encryption type as multi-part slash form data because i am uploading multiple data okay both text and image okay so now once you create a form you need to copy this entire code and you need to put it inside this form okay so that's what i have done here okay and then this is the model content inside the model content you need to create a model header okay so everything will everything is present here okay let's see as you can see a model header is there model title okay and there is a section for model body 
इसलिए इंसर्ट द मॉडल बॉडी यू नीड टू राइट योर वट एवर फील्ड यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले इन साइड योर एड यूजर फॉर्म ओके सो नाउ इन दिस टूटोरियल आई वॉन्ट यूजर नेम फील्ड ई मेल जेंडर एंड एंड यूजर इमेज फील्ड ओके सो फॉर दैट आई हैव रिटर्न द कोड इन साइड द मॉडल बॉडी सो दिस इज फॉर यूजर नेम है an id as username and name as username okay. and then okay so here i have created my username field and then email and then gender okay so along with the names i have given it as an id as well again okay. id as username id as email and name and id as gender okay and then the last one is input type file okay to this also i have given a name and id as user file Okay, and then at the end there is a model footer. Uh, so whenever user click on the upload file button, I'm calling, I'm making an AJAX request. Okay, so to this AJAX request, I'm passing the ID of the form. This upload user is the ID which I have given to my form. Okay, as you can see here. So whenever user click on the upload file, I'm making an AJAX call. I'm submitting an AJAX. call to the form by passing this upload user id okay so this is the id i have assigned to my form element okay and then event okay event dot prevent default okay so it prevents the default behavior of the form okay and then i am accepting the username email gender and user file details from the user okay so now with this next with this if condition i am checking uh, if the user what if the user tries to submit the form without entering any data in any of this text boxes okay so that condition i am putting inside this form okay i am not allowing the user to come inside this if block if the user has left any of the field of this form blank okay okay if the user tries to submit the form without entering any information in this form then Okay, I am displaying a message as please fill all the details that I have written here in the form of an alert. Okay, suppose if the user has entered each and every information like username, email, gender, and user file, then I am making an AJAX request. Okay, and then I am passing the URL. Okay, so with this I am targeting the action attribute of my form. Okay, let me just go to the form. okay so here one of the attribute to our form is action okay and it at this action says to which file i'm sending an ajax request at ajax post request okay so i'm sending a post request to add.php so it makes a url okay it takes the action attribute from the form and it makes an url and assign it to this url okay and then i'm sending a post request and with this it takes the data of the form okay and then once i take the data of the form then i pass the data uh, to our add.php file to which i am making a post ajax request entire data will get sent to this add.php okay okay if i successfully manages to store the data inside the database then i will get a success message and i will be redirected to the index page again okay so now okay so now let us uh, this is everything about ajax uh, jquery part okay so now um, whenever i click on the submit or upload file button an ajax request is been made to add.php file with all this data okay and inside the add.php i am checking if the request method is post then i am including the database configuration file i am establishing the connection with my database and then i am storing the username information inside the user name variable okay and email information inside the email variable gender inside the gender and user file okay this holds the name of the file which i am selecting okay suppose i select 
jack then the this name will get stored inside this name variable okay so and this user file temp name will store the temporary name to this file and this path represents inside which folder i am going to store the image okay so i have created an uploads folder okay so inside this uploads folder already i have uploaded three user profiles and this path represents this uploads folder okay where i want to store my images okay and then i am calling move uploaded file method which takes two parameters one is the temporary name variable and then the second one is the path okay to which path i am going to upload the image okay and now once i upload the image inside the folder uploads then immediately i will immediately i will store I will save the link of that image inside the database along with the details of username, email, gender and user file. Okay. And if the data gets successfully added, then immediately I will take the user to the index page. Okay. Uh, so this is everything about add.php. Okay. So now let me just refresh the page. Okay. So right now inside my uploads folder of our project, there are three profiles and inside that table, also i have three rows okay so now let me just add one more row okay just click on add user okay so and these rows are okay jack okay email id jack, okay and then gender mail and i will select this profile okay and when i click on this upload file okay and now let us go to our table and you will see one more record will get added which is jack rebella okay along with the details of email gender and user file this is the path okay so now if i copy this path and tries to view this image then you will see it displays it will, it will display you the image okay so which is stored inside this folder and you can see earlier there were only three images uh, profile pictures and since i have added one more profile uh, into the database which is the jack then that image also start displaying inside the folder okay uh, so um, this is how we can add the details of any user inside the table and store the image of that user inside the folder okay using ajax uh, jquery and php okay so this is a thing about uh, adding the user adding the record inside the database mysql database using php ajax and jquery okay so now uh, with this we have completed only one uh, feature of our application okay which is adding user but in the next video we will see how we can view all those details uh, inside the table exactly the way how we have done here okay so in the next video we will try to fetch all the details from the mysql table along with these images and try to display them in this table okay so now all we will all this we will do in our next video okay so and that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching